Morning crew and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. We're on site at the Albany VTNZ and the little Suzuki Alto 660 is in the line for the recheck for those rear brakes for the balance. Now uh, fingers crossed everything's going to be okay. We'll find out very shortly. It's very frustrating knowing I'm a warrant inspector. I can't I can't currently inspect the car myself, but anyway, not to look. Not to worry. So I thought I'd bring you along and uh, thought, what the hell, get the camera out and uh, you can see where we get these cars inspected here in New Zealand. This is just one of the outlets. This is a, it's got some links to the government as VCNZ, but obviously lots of garages can do their own warrant of fitness checks as well. Now the lady at the counter told me that last Saturday when I got here at uh, quarter past one, uh, they were closed, but she told me this morning that I could have gone to one of the other sites and the one in Glenfield is open all week, even Sundays, so missed out there. I could have got it tested last weekend and that would have been a bigger help. But if it fails this time round, then I'm going to have to bite the bullet and order some new rear brake shoes. Such is life. But uh, hey, we'll wait and see and uh, hopefully we'll get a label put on the windscreen. Oh, it's looking good. Ish. You might let that go. We'll have to wait and see, people. It depends how hard he is. <laughs> Golly. Geez, that sun's really bad, isn't it? Well, guess what? It's got a new label. It passed. Bloody awesome. One less job to do. But it really does need some new shoes in the back at some point. I'm still not that happy with it. There's still a bit of imbalance, but it's just within spec. So we're all good. Okay, well, I'll see you back in the workshop where the lighting's a lot better. <clears throat> right, I'm back. Back in the workshop out of that nasty sunshine. So, yes, the result is the little Suzuki Alto on its retest was granted a warrant of fitness. And there's the information there, look. And it did pass, but... You know, looking at those gauges, and it is all down to the inspector's discretion, interpretation, put it down to what you like, but it was very, very close. It was a borderline pass, which really highlights the fact that once um, a lubricant, you know, grease, oil, brake fluid, whatever it is, gets into a friction material, it doesn't matter if you clean off the top, Yes, it improves the brake efficiency a little bit, and it went from, uh, what was it before, 38% imbalance, and the legal limit is 20%, so okay, let's say there was an 18% improvement, but it was only just, and there's still an imbalance on those brakes, don't forget. And maybe with a bit of use, it might get worse again, you know, as that lubricant oozes through the friction material and comes to the surface, possibly, or it might get better. I don't know. We'll find out maybe at the next warrant. But no matter if you clean it up with some sandpaper or emery cloth, it's not a true fix. There's still a problem. And furthermore, not only have the brake shoes, the, the material, the friction material got, you know, been contaminated by that lubricant or the oil, uh, or the grease in this case, uh, the actual brake drum itself. Now it's made of cast iron and cast iron as we all know is porous. So some of that lubricant will have got into the cast iron. Now sure you can use brake cleaner and sort of swill it all out and we can sand it like we did before uh, just to rough it up to get those brake shoes to, to key back in again the material. But the bottom line is that lubricant is down inside the pores of that cast iron and I've proved this before because I've, I've cleaned it all up with brake cleaner and then I've got a blowtorch onto the um, onto the brake drum or a brake disc as well actually uh, onto the brake drum and heated it up and you can see once it gets to a certain temperature the the, uh, the contaminant combusts and it, it basically gives off a lot of smoke and then the brake efficiency massively increases so, yeah, we got it through the warrant, and that was the aim, but please don't think that this was a, a proper fix, because it wasn't. If anything, it was really to highlight the fact that just cleaning up the brake shoes, and cleaning up the brake drum, and swilling it all down on brake cleaner, doesn't get rid of the problem. It just sort of makes it a little bit better. 
Okay, well, that was about it. The car's on the road, it's got Reggio now. That's all I aimed to do at this point in time. Sure, at some point further in the future, at least now I know that it definitely needs a new set of shoes. And those were getting pretty worn by the looks of it, so they'd need to be replaced soon anyway. Oh, one other thing. There was a comment um, somebody put on. I forgot, I've forgotten the chap's name now. But he said, hey Andy, why didn't you get to the bottom of wh why the grease had leaked out of the bearing? Well, after I'd finished filming, I was having a little think about it uh, while I was editing the, uh, the video. And it became apparent that the grease, the origin of that grease, wasn't in fact from the bearing itself, the inner bearing. It hadn't leaked out of the bearing. It had actually come off the stub axle uh, on the car. Somebody had, I don't think it was me, but somebody had greased the stub axle excessively. It's okay to put a thin smear on there, but they excessively greased it. And when they put the brake drum back on, the, the excessive grease was pushed the back, towards the, the, the inside of the car, pushed back on the stub axle, uh, and then basically there was a buildup of grease between that bearing uh, and the stub axle, so, you know, the, uh, the shoulder on the stub axle. So when the wheel started to spin, that grease eventually um, you know, flew off and it migrated out onto the brake drum surface. So that was the issue of the contamination. That was sort of the primary fail, which was nothing to do with the car, it was a mistake that the previous mechanic had made. That might have been me. Maybe I should put my hand up to that. I don't know. I don't remember greasing the uh, the stub axles. I really don't. Anyway, not to worry. Okay, well, if you found this video helpful, then why not click on the subscribe button. You'll see a little gear icon turn up. Click on the gear icon, and then you can tick the box and turn on notifications. You'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Feel free to communicate through any of those portals. I will get back to you at some point. But the comments on YouTube, well, I'm on there all the time. So that's really the best place to make your comments. There's also a Patreon page now for the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. So you can drop onto there. And uh, that's a, a work in progress. You can find out information about the history of the channel, um, you know, why it uh, originated, you know, a bit of my background, and up and coming projects for the future as well. Uh, and if you feel like donating, you can also do that, become a patron. Okay, crew, well, it's definitely time for a coffee now. I'll, and I've got tall girl Sarah's bike to finish today. There's lots of videos to do on that one. Uh, I'm currently doing the trailer, and it's turned out to be a much bigger job, as they all are with Sarah's bike. A much bigger job than originally planned, but hey, it's all good. I enjoy it, and it's a glorious day, so I'm going to enjoy doing that, uh, doing that work and getting it all finished for her. Okay, crew, see you around. Cheers. Over and out. Hey, tall girl Sam. How are I'm you? Back. You're back. It's Fantastic. So I know, and I've got a new shirt, so I thought it's only right that I give you a new shirt too. So there you go. So excited for my new shirt, and I don't have to wear different shirts every day. And as a classic tall girl Sam move, I am going to wear it like this. Wow, would you look at that. I'd say that is a great present for your girlfriend if she's into tools. If she's not, she's probably into tools because you're a tool. See what I did there? Tool girl shirt, perfect.